Oh yeah, climb the tree, that's what I need. and welcome to Breaking the Puzzles, episode 4, November of 2020. We're almost done 2020, we've got one episode left, which will be just before New Year's, and I'm excited, I'm happy that 2020 is almost over. Uh, it's been a very big year, not just with the pandemic and all that, uh, but like my parents got to retire, and being just, uh, like, it's a mixed year. It's good stuff, it's bad stuff. But it's almost over, so that's pretty good. Looking forward to seeing what 2021 would come up with. Uh, a highlight of 2020, of course, is that I changed biologics. So I went onto a new drug called Salik, which uh, just after last episode aired, uh, you guys would have seen my Psoriasis Awareness Day video where I took my week zero shot. Uh, in case you're new to biologics, uh, Basically, the first week that you're ever on it, you call week zero because you haven't been on it a week. Uh, so I did my week zero shot. I did my week one shot, my week two shot. I had a break. Uh, week three was no shot. And as of tomorrow, I'll be taking shot number four. So that signifies I've been on it a month as of tomorrow. So let's just bring you up to speed with how my psoriasis is doing up to this point. So here's a little montage. So I do want to apologize that I didn't make a video before. Um, I was saying that I was going to do one on week two. I just didn't feel up to it. Uh, I was decently fatigued. The increased weekly doses, having like week zero, week one, week two, I found it did make me a little bit more fatigued. And I used my energy that I had to just do normal survival things like get up in the morning and so on. Uh, I do apologize for not doing a video on week two, and I also apologize for not having some corresponding video data of where my skin was. Um, any of you that have been longtime fans of the channel, or viewers of the channel, even if you're not a fan, I do have some previous psoriasis data from back when I was on Simzia and a few other drugs. Um, so basically, I wasn't at my worst at the beginning of all this, but I wasn't at my best. Uh, if you go back to when my Tult stopped working, which was the one of my better drugs, uh, those videos will show you roughly where I was at, uh, if you do want comparison. Um, but anyway, uh, so as for Salik, it's been doing pretty well. As I said, fatigued uh, when I was doing the weekly shots a little bit more than usual. Uh, but not more than normal for a biologic. It's just more than normal if you weren't on a biologic. So other than the fatigue, uh, there's been no sight reactions, which is uh, basically when you inject yourself, whether it becomes red, itchy, warm, whatnot. Uh, this drug's actually been really, really gentle. Uh, it's very nice applicator. It's a manual injector, as you saw in my last video. And uh, it's very, very pleasant to inject, which is very, very nice. Uh, some injections are just horrible. Uh, this one's been wonderful. So uh, I've been very happy with it. And uh, it's it seems to be working so far, but we're actually into a critical stage. Uh, zero, one, two, three, and four of weeks is all kind of loading doses. Um, so this will be my first kind of regular dose, which will be every two weeks. 
uh, having it on week four. So going forward, not having weekly doses, we'll actually see what the drug can really do. So it's exciting, but terrifying, because if it doesn't hold, it means we have to look into other drugs or we have to beg the drug company to allow me to have a higher dose. Um, hopefully it doesn't come down to either of those, but I have a great medical team and if it's required that I increase the dose or it's required that I change my medication, I have some of the best people in, I'm gonna say the world, you can argue with me if you'd want, but I have some of the best doctors in the world helping me and watching out for me. Um, so I'm, I'm nervous, but it's controllable. Uh, so breaking the puzzle is not just about psoriasis. I'm going to let you know Basically, I've lost three pounds uh, in the last month. Uh, not specifically trying either. Um, I've been doing a lot less physical activity because of, well, it's been wet, snowing, slash raining quite a bit. Um, also, my sleep pattern's been really screwed up, and as I mentioned, fatigue. So I haven't been doing increased exercise or whatnot, but we've been trying to eat a lot healthier, uh, a lot less convenience meals, and so on. So that has actually helped, obviously, I've lost three pounds. Um, I have been doing quite a bit of regular activity, like just stuff around the apartment. Um, I just retrofitted a closet. I did, like I've been doing stuff like that. So it, although it's not specific exercise, like going out and going for an hour long walk or something, it is, it's, it's good physical activity. Um, I've been wearing my uh, fitness watch, which tracks my steps. And on most days I've been getting in between 5,000 and 6,000, uh, unless I have a really like bad fatigue day um, or video game day, because video game days you don't do a lot of steps. But, well you do in game, but those don't really count. So they need to fix that. If I do a walking in a game, I, I should be able to lose ca calories. That's the future I'm hoping for. But anyway, um, so, What's going forward? We've got uh, my Salik injection, obviously tomorrow, as I said. Uh, so next month uh, in my December episode, you'll see whether it's been holding or not. Uh, fingers crossed, obviously. And we also have me continuing to try and lose weight. So next video, I will not be higher than 317.4. I'm going to try really, really hard to keep at eating healthy, not doing too badly, which Christmas is really, really, really hard to do. Like there's tons of stuff that you can eat that's high in calorie and high in fat and, and whatnot. Um, but also I'm gonna try and keep up the activity. So that should also help too. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I know this has been a short episode, but I uh, just figured I should keep you up to date. Originally, I wasn't even going to do an episode, and I was like, I got to keep up with this. So I'm trying my best. I'm trying to keep up to, with it. And thank you guys for watching, because uh, the more you guys watch and like and subscribe and all that, uh, the more motivation I get to keep on doing these. And not just these videos, but some of our fun videos as well. So thank you once again for watching. You guys take care, and I'll see you next month. Bye.